Our third and final method for finding the uh, Thevenin equivalent impedance of a circuit involves applying an external source to the terminals of our circuit after deactivating the uh, any independent sources. So this circuit that we're finding the, the Thevenin circuit for involve, or has a single independent voltage source. We're going to deactivate that independent source again by replacing it with a short circuit. This method then involves applying an external voltage source, just V, call it VEX for external, which would then cause a current to flow, we'll call it IEX for the external current, the current is due to this external voltage source, and Z Thevenin then is going to equal the ratio of VEX to IEX. This method works under any circumstances, whether you have dependent or independent sources, this third method will work. Sometimes it gets to be algebraically a little bit cumbersome involving multiple equations and multiple unknowns, but it will always work. This method is equivalent to, and can maybe uh, something of a, a visual of um, a, a, a gasoline engine and an exhaust system. If you're wanting to measure or to model the resistance, the back pressure due to the resistance of the exhaust system, this would be like turning off the engine and then putting your mouth over the exhaust pipe and blowing into it and measuring the current that flows. And that then that resistance of the exhaust system would be equal to the pressure that you're pushing against it divided by the amount of air that flowed into it. So our Thevenin impedance will be we're going to deactivate the source, the independent sources. If there were dependent sources in here, we would leave them active. And having deactivated the independent sources, pushing against this or applying a voltage and taking the ratio of the voltage to the current. So here's our circuit then. We've deactivated the source. We're applying the external voltage source. And we need to do some algebra and write some equations that will allow us to come up with a ratio of the external voltage to the external current. With this circuit here, and with the source deactivated, we see now that this 20 ohm and the negative J25 ohm capacitor are in parallel with each other. So let's call that Z parallel. And uh, by reducing those to a parallel combination, we'll have these two, the parallel equivalent, in series with that. And we'll then be able to write the expression for the external current will just be equal to this Thevenin, or this external voltage divided by the series combination of those two, of this plus the parallel equivalent. So Z parallel is equal to negative J25 times 20 divided by 20 minus J25. And that again works out to be 12.2 minus J9.76. So we have then, just redrawing to make obvious what we're doing here, we've got this inductor, uh, J50. And we have this equivalent impedance of 12.2 minus J 9.76. This is our external voltage, and there will be an external current flowing. And we can now write an expression for IEX. The external current is just equal to the external voltage divided by the sum of those, which is J 50 plus 12.2 minus J 9.76. And the ratio VEX over IEX then can be gotten by multiplying both sides of the equation by this denominator and dividing both sides by IEX. And we get then that VEX over IEX is equal to 12.2 plus J 40.2, and that, of course, 
is our Thevenin equivalent voltage. So we've seen now three different methods of calculating the Thevenin voltage, the Thevenin impedance, and uh, which one works best becomes a matter of art and experience. And you'll have some opportunities to do enough of these that you'll start to get a feel for the circumstances that make each of these different methods most applicable.